Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, y'all. So, Oscar De La Hoya uh, is supposed to be on good terms or Golden Boy Promotions, who is who has uh, Ryan Garcia signed, said that uh, they're at a place now where they can move forward. And uh, Eric Gomez, who's the president of Golden Boy Promotions, said that, you know, I think we're at a place right now where we can move forward and keep working. Look, we were able to get December done, and he wants to keep fighting, and he wants to fight the best. And we want to keep promoting his fights. So this is what we're going to do. Look, at the end of the day, he's a professional. We're professional, Oscar professional as well. And we can put all this stuff to the side and keep moving forward and do business. Now, the reason why people are saying that is because Oscar and Bernard Hopkins turned their back on Ryan Garcia and did not show up at the post conference when Ryan Garcia lost to Tank Davis in a, a, a TKO, which to me was shameful. Oscar De La Hoya tried to say it was because his life was his he was in danger, which made absolutely no sense. Nobody's going to cut up a T-Mobile arena with all that police security running around and I can't remember what Bernard Hopkins said but he was a no show too but they was just embarrassed because Leonard and Floyd was in the ring laughing at them and you know Ryan Garcia was up there by himself with I believe Eric Gomez to, to be by his side and after that rumors had that Ryan was trying to leave or possibly sign with new people Ryan has since signed with uh, or with a uh, hey ass trainer Derek James who trains Earl Spence, Anthony Joshua, and a couple other fighters. Shout out to him. And hey, I, I took up for Ryan. I shout out to Ryan for taking that Tank fight. To all of Tank's demands. And he took a risk. I mean, he didn't win, but that's what we want to see as fans. And one thing about the sport, if you win, and people, people are going to overlook your losses. And, you know, hey, Ryan could have... Try to, they could have squeezed this fight out for four or five years before they finally fought. But no, Ryan said, I want to fight him now. And he literally took everything that Tank threw at him. And they ended up making a fight. So you would think Oscar then would ride with him to the end. But no, they didn't. Neither one of them. Even if Oscar didn't show up and Bernard Hopkins did, I would have still have been like, you know what? Oscar ain't there, but I respect b -Hop. But no, b -Hop wasn't nowhere to be found either. So I can't rock with that. I can't respect that. And... I understand why Ryan felt the way he felt and you know Golden Boy at one moment at one point they were the cream of the crop they were the top promoter they had every fighter you can think of Wilder the Charlos Canelo and Oscar ended up going through issues and he ended up losing all his fighters then he still had Canelo and Ryan he ended up losing Canelo and now look the only person you got left is Ryan man that's just sad because Golden Boy had everybody at one point. So if you lost all your fighters but one, I'm going to at least ride with him to the wheels fall. But show, hey, I got your back as your promoter. But, you know, Oscar did, Oscar and B-Hop, they didn't want to face that embarrassment at that moment. Talking about they like the safety. But that's just my quick thoughts. I mean, hey, if they get it back together, cool. But who's, hey, is who's to say? What y'all think?